The Group 2 King George Qatar Stakes and away they go ornate in the yellow jacket Copper Knight in light blue fast away on the stand side Rebecca Rocks uh, Batash is prominent over in the centre just leading El Astronauti Batash racing very powerfully and freely followed by Hootzen Judicial in the noseband Rumble in the jungle at the back and also towards the back is Big Brother's Pride the French trained filly as they hurtle down the hill passing halfway ornate Batash travels strongly on the far side then Copper Knight and Judicial and El Astronauti, Big Brother's Pride, Rumble in the Jungle, Hoot Zen's trying to run on far side, Light Blue Jacket, Jim Crowley now shakes up the favourite and Batash hits the front, leads by two legs, extending as he has done before at Goodwood, Hoot Zen is giving chase on the far side but Batash is nicely clear, a length and a half, Hoot Zen is closing down in the last throws but Batash for King George III. Down inside the final furlong and a half. Lots a lot do act. Muharar is now asked for an effort. Lightning Moon Eastern Impact and the Tin Man with Strathburn over on the far side. Twilight Sun over on the near side with Gordon Lord Byron trying to stay on. Muharar moves to the front. The boom three-year-old goes to the lead. Twilight Sun, Emperor Max for Singapore. Dan Zeno and gathering power. But Muharar is scorching away from Twilight Sun. The younger generation holding sway. And this is a good one. Muharar, another group one. They're off. They get away fairly decent break. Soldier's Call was the fastest one away. Blue Point over the far side in blue got away strongly as well. And Enzo's lad in Primus and Fairyland are chasing. Signora Caballo and Judicial and Maps Cross and next Hootson showing very good pace. The Aqua Jacket towards the stand side where she has only Batars chasing her. Those two together on the extreme right. Equilateral's just about the back marker. Sergei Prokofiev in purple is with him. They've already got down to halfway. Soldier's Call leading. Blue Point in the blue jacket in second place. Batash of Blue and My Colors, one from the right making progress. Fairylands with those from Mabs Cross in red. In Primus just in behind those as they head down to the final furlong. Batash nearest to us in blue and white. Blue Point, the all blue far side. Behind those soldiers call and then comes Mabs Cross. They head towards the line, Blue Point in front. Batash nearest to us trying to get to him, but it's the same as last year. Blue Point from Batash. 50 to one bar. And they're running, and Lok Song goes straight into the lead. Lok Song, the leader from Palace Gate Jack and Westman. Lok Song leading him by two, three, four lengths. Crouching low, as usual, and letting her do the work, just uh, sitting there, poised aboard this great mare, Frankie de Torre, as he runs down towards the halfway mark in the Kingstown Stakes. Lock song clear of Palace Gate Jack and Westman with making just a little bit of ground Bunty Boo towards the right towards the near side they're racing up towards the furlong marker and Lock song clear of the remainder he simply hasn't moved a muscle on this mare Brighton Lad has gone into second place ahead of Westman but it's Lock song all the way as they race up towards the line. The crowd giving her a tremendous cheer. It's a beautiful, sweet performance. This Lock song romps home the easy win of Lightning Lad is second, and Whitsman is third. They're off in the Kingstown Stakes at Shea Shea and Green Door. A couple of the slowest to come from the stalls. Uh, Rex Imperator uh, was away well with Take Cover down the centre showing good speed and likewise Step a Point. Ansel on the far side with the white cap racing a little isolated. Jack Dexter in a black and yellow jacket and Justice Day with a nose banded hot streak tracking the leaders. And then Artug in the Godolphin blue. Gare is towards the stand side with SK Love in a green jacket. Uh, that pair in turn now being tracked by Rex Imperator. Imperator. Steps is being bustled along Soul Power towards the rear in the white jacket is behind Shea Shea and Green Door and Pearl Secret as they move on down towards the last furlong and a half. Pretty well grouped up. Jack Dexter joined and passed by Hot Streak who now moves on into the lead. Being chased by SK Lava to Jack Dexter Soul Power. Begins to fly home on the far side. Hot Streak step a point battling back to Medici Man thundering home. Soul Power on the far side getting to them. A repeat the dose but Soul Power who wins the King Stand against. That's it. They're racing. 
Continent missed it on the near side. Dominica, one of the first away, right up there to his firebolt, which is the Hong Kong runner, Olivia Grace, showing pace. And Schwarzier for Australia is up, sharing the early lead. Wonders Dream is alone right over on the far side, and Oasis Dream just uh, slots in behind them from Lady Dominatrix and further back then Dominica, the near side. But in Castle is back in the field from Acclamation as they sort themselves out from Sadat. But Schwarzier, the Australian sprinter, going like the wind out in front for Johnny Murphy. Leads by a length and a half here to in second Dominica. Wider out then battling on is Oasis Dream, followed then by Elusive City. A furlong and a half left to go. Schwarzier though on the stands rail is two in front. Oasis Dream trying hard to pick him up. They're making no impression at the moment. Followed then by Dominica. Schwarzier, Johnny Murder three in front. The Aussie's going to do it. Schwarzier coming home to win the King's Stand. What a famous victory. Schwarzier wins it. Acclamation second. We're just about ready, and they're away. Sign of Witnesses jump very well. Pivotal point away quite nicely. Multi Dandy out wide has begun very well. Also, VAR trying to get just behind him as Pivotal Point leads up. Sign at Witness, Multi Dandy, Abel Prince right there. Oster Hayes in the middle. VAR just off them. Kelston Lido about a length off the lead. Pivotal Point the inside. Yell about three off the front runners. Next, Sunningdale, Cape of Good Hope. In between them trying to pick up is Sunningdale, the tattling and fading back. Last Royal Millennium. It's Multi Dandy on the outside of Natural Blitz there. The leaders at the quarter pole. Next then came on the outside, Abel Prince, VAR trying to pick up. Right there, Multi Dandy, Silent Witness goes under Natural Blitz. Natural Blitz runs for his life, but the great champion, Silent Witness, darts to the front. This is all over. He's toying with them. This is unbelievable. Silent Witness, two in front. Cape of Good Hope, Natural Blitz. Abel Prince trying hard. The world champion wins in a canter. That's it. Well, George breaks fast over on the far side. Also dancing music, dancing music showing very good speed over on the far side. On the near side, Ron's victory and Dejour. Dejour on the near side from Ron's victory. And Nabil Dancer just in behind the lead. It's Dejour in the center. Ron's victory showing there with his right white face. Then comes Boozy towards the outside of Dejour. Nabil Dancer in behind them towards the stand side. Dejour with the advantage from Nabil Dancer on the near side. Laguna Beach uh, putting in a run also, but it's Dejour the leader from the white face. Ron's victory in the center. Dancing music over on the far side. Laguna Beach getting the better of Nabil Dancer over on the stand side. But it's Dejour as they race into the closing stages. Dejour is going to win this well as they come up towards the line. Dejour has run away with it. Dejour is the winner. Ron's victory is second it's going to be a photo of a third. And they're racing. Lucky Nine's dwelt. He's dwelt the start. Time after time gets back. Lord Kenaloa midfield. And Rich Tapestry jump well together with Go Baby Go. It quickly slipped across from the outside. Being revved up the English filly Joala. She strides to third. Cerise Cherry behind them. Then Charles the Great. Lord Kenaloa's three wide going into the first turn but getting cover. Then Joy and Fun back on the rail. Slade Power and the Power Blue Cap deep out. Then Frederick Engels. Eagle Regiment between them. Two further back to Lucky Nine. Soul Power. Sterling City's ball back on the fence. And time after time's last. 5.50 out. It's Rich Tapestry just in front of Go Baby Go and Joala. Cerise Cherry pinned in fourth on the fence, then Charles the Great. Lord Canaloa's had no cover, but he cruises up on the outside, then Slade Power Eagle Regiment, and further back to Frederick Engels, who's strung up in traffic. Awada says go now on Lord Canaloa, and the favourite dashes clear in the sprint. Awada up and down in the saddle, but away goes Lord Canaloa. He's going to make it back-to-back -back wins in the sprint. He's swan song of racing. He's waving to the crowd, Lord Canaloa. Away he goes. They're racing in the Golden Jubilee. And Black Caviar's got away to a good start. Society Rock began badly. Soul is going to be the early leader. Out in the centre, Black Caviar travelling on the near side, getting a lead from Bogart. Out in the centre, Jimmy Styles, followed by Escalave. And further back then is Restia Dajon. Moonlight Cloud takes up a position in the middle of the field from the checker. Pastoral Player is further back in the field. They're followed then by Krypton Factor. Red Rock is out the back in company with Jenky. Then Serious Prospect, who's uh, at the tail of the field as they race up now towards halfway and sold the leader from Bogart and now Black Caviar ambling up on the near side in third.
third. They're a length to Escalar, followed by Krypton Factor and Jimmy Styles and Restia Daljong. And further back is Genki. But as they come up now onto the course proper, two furlongs left to go. Soul is the leader. Now Nolan starts to shape the reins at Black Caviar. 